So here's a story. It's back, baby, for 2022. Bigger, badder, fatter, and funkier. That's right, baby. It's me, your old pal Chris. The only man who remembers that Osmosis Jones was a thing, but I still haven't seen it. I'm going on the City of Ale Tour 2022, a Norwich-based festival that encompasses many of the 365 bars we have. With a total of nearly 50 pubs and a bunch of badges to collect like some alcoholic Pokemon trainer, with a ragtag bunch of misfits accompanying me on every one, we're off to be the very best that no one ever was. Enough stalling already, let's go, let's go, let's go! The first rube I rounded up for my liver pounding quest was young Leonard, also known as Lee, and we would embark on the trail that involved the pub we worked on, just so we could get stamped without ordering another drink. The first pub was a breezy half an hour walk out of the fucking city in a bougie part of town. Sticking to halves, we were on a roll and enjoying the sunshine, but by the time we reached the second pub, fate would have other plans for us. Our journey to the next pub was targeted by an angry storm and excessive rains, and the audio for this bit got real fucked by the rain. But as we were walking, the thunderstorm moved above our heads, and just as we saw the sign for the York Tavern, I announced how angry I'd be if we got through the door and it suddenly stopped, but of course, instead it began to hail. Very, very hard. The woman wouldn't let us order anything except ale, and only had like, free on or something, further demoralising us, but still, we were halfway through by now, and determined to carry on with our quest. But, before we get to that, it's time for a new segment I like to call Fun Facts About Dogs! Did you know? I once saw a dog eat his own sick on the bus. And now, back to the show. Waiting for the storm to pass and the rain to quiet down slightly, we made our way to the Trafford Arms, the next pub. After a quick stout half, the weather improved fast, and we were off to the penultimate pub. Cease your investigations. And finally, we were off to the final pub on this trail, The Rose, which was only open on certain days, but somehow we winged it on a day when it actually was open and decided to settle down with a full but expensive pint of whatever weird shit they had on. Congratulations on finishing the trail. Yeah, strawberry vanilla RPM. Coconut stout. Just tastes like stout. Tastes like a good stout though. Yeah, it's it. decent. It's a nice stout. Let me, let me film your tip with the badge. Nice. I'll just film my tip without the as well. Yeah, well this isn't OnlyFans. Uh. I'm just rubbing my boobs for nothing back here. Okay, great. <laughs> well, that's one trail down. 
I know I'm not fighting on any of us now. <laughs> well, I, uh, uh, mm. oh, no. So I was one badge down and very proud of myself and young Leanne, but I still had a quest for six more badges, with a whole month to achieve my goal. But still, my friends, this is when we reached the main obstacle that would prove extremely difficult. Money and time. Being an adult with adult friends is tough. Trying to organise things is almost impossible, so I had to grab my friends when I could. My next partner for the next badge, for example, was only free two days after completing the first trail. But still, I would end up meeting my friend Sam, Rose of Joseph, on the other side of the sea, on a much nicer evening around some of the nicest pubs Norwich has to offer. The first pub was one I'd never been to before, the Rosebury, and meeting who I first thought was Bradley Cooper in his shades, we journeyed to the next establishment, the Whalebone. Our third pub was the establishment that actually used to be my local when I lived around this area, the Brewery Tap, a place me and Burrell visited so often I could say, the usual please, and they actually knew I was after a pint of the Honeycat Ale, so hey, hey, guess what's the only fucking beer they no longer serve? You build my food. Okay. Bit of fork action. Yeah, I'm gone. Put it, put it in your mouth, you dirty slut. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Oh, very good. After traumatizing Sam from ever eating loaded fries again, we went to the Stanley, the only place I know that serves this incredible pistachio liqueur that no one knows the name of. Pistachio. Dan Hatchman Oh, oh my god. Right? That aftertaste is. Like 20%. Probably less. Mm. The shame is that it's going to make this taste like shit. <laughs> the next few pubs are all extremely close to each other, and all incredibly lovely in their own little ways. By the time we reached the Artichoke, which used to be me and my dad's local back when it was a filthy dive known for its horrifying Saturday karaoke sessions, it became clear we were not alone in completing this trail. There were at least two large groups also travelling from port to port and at a very similar pace to us. Suddenly, it became apparent to us that if we wanted to get a point where we could get a drink without waiting for five minutes at the last three pubs, we would have to outmaneuver these groups. But not only that, with many pubs closing on average at 11 in Norwich, we also had to allocate a certain amount of time between 7 and 11 to fit in eight different pubs and the sky was growing ever darker. The next port of call was the Marlborough, and like almost all of the other pubs on this second trail, was also an awful dive bar when I was growing up, now transformed into a hipster haven, one where we would engage in a gentleman's competition of trying to scoop the coaster onto the other person's pint, and if successful, the other person must quaff their booze juice. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm so good. Are we going to do the competitive? Right. Oh, that was a good noise. We need to be drinking while we do this. Every one we miss, we have to do this. If I land on you, I'll be down in your bed. And your beer will be gone by that point. That's good beer, Charles. I'm changing. I'm not getting any further. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're both winners and we're both losers. <laughs> <laughs>
but after about 15 minutes, the group behind us emerged and sat next to us, mocking our coaster abilities and shaming us into each slurping our yeasty beasties. And like that, we were onto the penultimate pub, the Leopard. At this point, we were one pub ahead of the groups and strolled to the plasterer's arms to collect our prize. About 15 minutes before closing. Not bad. But despite the fact there was only one poor woman on, the groups behind us poured in just after last orders, leaving the place packed and hellish and expediting our victory departure. Nice. Nice. And I'm going to interrupt you. Uh, do you have any closing statements for our trail? No, I don't know. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. I have no statements. What was your favourite place you went to? Where are we at? Well, that's always been our favourite place. We've been going there for fucking years. Okay. Okay, cool. What's your favourite new place? Probably the Leopard. Why do you resent me so much, sir? RuneScape, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, two badges down. We're onto a roll, aren't we? I'm proud of us. I'm proud of you. I hope you're proud of me. And if not... Hmm. Anyway, a few weeks later, after many, many failed attempts to organise more trips with more people, I was ready to begin my third and, admittedly, final journey of this year. When I could organise people, I couldn't afford any more trails, and when I actually had money spare, it was when my friends were busy. So with that knowledge primed and armed, let's jump into the third trail and meet the two rubes I wrangled up for this one. The first one being my old friend and young protege, Luke, and the other being some guy I found sleeping in a freezer in Retros, Rusty, where we would visit the trail that also had the place all three of us worked together at. On a damp and busy Saturday Argo, we would arrange to meet in the city centre, but our spunky little friend here would, for some reason, instead steamroll to the first pub on the trail, which wasn't open until a little bit later, so me and Rusty would journey down to meet him at the next pub along, the King's Head. The next one was the river adjacent Ribs of Beef, where we would sit back, relax, and watch a chicken pox riddled swan with a cigarette in his mouth drift by. The next place was the cafe, the merchant's house, which used to be a very lovely and fancy cocktail bar. And finally, without further stalling, we were embarking towards the hotel we all used to work on bar at. The Anyway, our next stop was just around the corner at the Pig and Wet Wig and Pistol Pick Pick Fuck. Luke jotted off, so me and Rusty continued to the first pub on the list that would open itself up at 3 pm, which is a very normal thing to be fair, and go to the microbrewery, the Molten Model.
Luke would arrive, but the silly sod would drop his booklet full of stamps along the way, eliminating his opportunity to get a badge. The knucklehead. The numpty. The goofball. The fool! In this place, wizard shop. Ooh, no. God. I feel like every time I come down here, it's always different. I know, it's great. It's different shops and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But it's great for us to like look at and get south and then we know one last five minutes. Yeah, they all fail. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I was surprised that there's a fish and chip shop where the pharmacy used to be. That's been there for yeah. most of my life. That's like that, 25 that years. That chippy is really good actually. Oh, oh you yeah. mean on the corner? Yeah, yeah this yeah, one here, that's yeah. New to me. Yeah, that's mm. new to me. The one a bit further down, just right opposite Magnus Street, that's really good. They used to go there a lot more. Mm. The only chippy I do great, which is really controversial. Right. Graces. Really? Because I'm and they come to the veggie burgers in like beef drippings. Right, okay. Who does yeah. that? It sort of defeats the point of the thing. Yeah, that's very half assed. That's like saying, oh, oh we're, we're going to fry our veggie burgers, but we could put a beef one in the front of it first. Oh no, I don't places do that. I feel like that's what makes their chips so delicious. That's why they're one of them. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Our veggie burgers are made of cows, and cows eat vegetables. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does literally. So does that make cows vegetarian? <laughs> yeah, cows are vegetarian. Yeah. You are what you eat, baby. And if I eat cow, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just grass. It's basically just grass. That's the food chain. It's gone through a cow. <laughs> That's why he killed the cow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> I will wait for you to get this down. Well, I told you I have better vision than you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so happy. He's like a little puppy. Back on equal terms, we were, vo we were voyaging off to our final pub, The Vine, and towards the end of my odyssey. Nice. That's nice. a face of pride right there. Champions. Oh, yeah. Champions, Champions of beer. They're pretty cool designs this year. They're right? really nice, yeah. We collected the badge, like a half arse and down as luck Thanos who lives outside Noth license. But as Luke and his roommate went home, me and Rusty decided a final celebration beer at Sir Toby's along the market and we would run. So stupid adult things got in the way of me completing the entire thing. Beer would have been 50 pubs, a minimum of 25 pints, which were averaging at about 450 a pint. It would have been an extreme amount of money for a poor and decrepit beggar like myself but I still had the funnest time, and it's just an excuse to go to places I like or have never been to before with the people I like, or the people who are available, or just whoever, I guess. Anyway, quick round up, I've got a souffle in the oven, so I'm gonna have to whisper, please don't creep down, but it's necessary, okay? Badges I collected out of seven, three, well done me. Pubs I went to that I hadn't been to before, including Sir Toby's. And total money spent on booze. Shh! Don't think about it! Join me next time for a journey in the summer when your boy has a very important birthday to grapple with. Ta ra! Any closing statements? No.